is now being recorded. Thank you for calling for joining us for the Sage DAC Easy DAC Access Query Tech Tuesday. Product specialist for DAC Easy. That guarantees you can speak and continue others hearing it. And if you want to ask any questions or speak throughout, star. Okay, the agenda for today, we're going to go over what is the query. Initially, we wanted to incorporate the uh, publisher uh, functionality as well, but decided to make that a part two. And the publisher topic coming up in July. Query. Uh, we'll continue where to access the query, the tables and the catalogs, how to add date ranges, create user defined formulas, join and sort options, common messages. We're going to demo building of two simple queries. We'll have questions, how to contact us, and build a query. Let's go over what this feature is. It's a custom report based on your selections made in the query, queries information for quick viewing and printing. Information for a quick glance. It pulls information from tables and catalogs within DACEasy. Which table or catalog to pull information from? You want to think about where it exists or where it was entered. Action file. You have a header and a detail, top portion representing the invoice number, transaction date, customer vendor code. Detail you're pulling in perhaps product specific information, quantity, cost, sales price, etc. Get into the query, we access DAC Access and choose Query. It's available in all Sage modules. So when you, including the blue boxes pointed out here, uh, there's four main sections. The top section holding the name, well, that you're going to give it, and the catalog it's pulling the information from. The column selection identifies field values that you've chosen for the query. The third represents date ranges or formulas um, operands such as equal to or not equal. Last column being the sort column area or sorts. Let's touch upon catalogs. The catalogs define what tables are available for each selection. So after you've entered a name in the name field, catalog listing appears. These are, uh, specifically today we're going over what's in accounting. It, catalogs available in accounting are the general ledger, receivables, billing, purchasing, cash, back order, sales history, salesperson, customer, vendors, products, services, assembly, fixed Here's a picture or a screenshot of the catalog. So once I entered the name and hit enter, the catalog lookup comes up. In this view, you'll see under description, billing catalog. And then right under files, these are the tables you have access to that are specific. Select the catalog. You begin by select, you then choose your table. So at the first column selection, you'll always click F5 for lookup. In this example, product is the catalog, and these are the tables available from within the product file. Moving on to the column selection. So one This lookup shows the exact field values. And the products 
and this displays all the fields that are available and related to the product file. Products is the catalog, and it shows code from the products column lookup. So that's one column selection. Next screen, I've added three more fields, code, quantity, purchase quantity, year-to-date, available units. Uh, enter twice takes you to the next column selection. Uh, look F5 lookup to add more fields each time. So at any time when you're creating the query, you may, cho you may choose from another column selection. You just back to the table lookup where you can choose a different. There's no limit to the number of columns. Column selection only shows a view of right and left to see what's probably want to think about saving throughout the query. Um, it escape or F6 without saving, it could delete. The zoom field, uh, where you have the availability to enter strings of operands and dates. If you one box below the column selection, you can hit option zoom or shift F7. where I entered a date on the Zoom to gather transactions 01-2012. Going over user-defined, user-defined flexibility to create formulas using the field. So in this example, I created a user defined called Profit Year 2. That makes up the profit year minus cost next year. Both sold amount and cost do exist in my query already so that I have the ability. This next screen does go over all of the steps um, required in creating the user defined, we don't. Now to view the query, you at any time, whether you have one field, three or F7, the Another feature in here is the query format. You can view makeup of any of the queries by selecting options print format. And what it does is displays the table that you have file and if you have any custom find formulas and what they are or any operand. Perhaps if you run something monthly, you can advanced feature, although not always, it, but it's there called join. It allows you to, when you have a query and several of the files in the query contain the way to join. Calling receivables header and the receivables open invoice file. They both contain the customer code, and you want left outer and right hour. You have the ability to play the information. It's not always going to be an option, and it's not always.
options and edit join. Sorting is another advanced feature um, at the bottom of the query. And again, it determines how the data The first box is your primary sort. Then you have an additional three sorts, select specifically in the way the Now we're going to review and build two queries and give each only one from the product file. Light query design, I'm going to give it a name, generic name, and here's our catalog lookup that we described. Full products is my catalog. Product, the catalog on the left and on the right tells me the tables available under the product file. Collection. Table lookup and down to products again, and I'm going to pull everything from here. Code is the first thing I need. Query, we're going to select Run Query, and it queries the information. Port layout comes up. Printer, or you could import it, you could publish it to Excel. And let's say we want to make some changes. I want to greater than greater than or equal to zero. Limit some of the information on the screen. Not equal to zero. There's all kinds of things you can do with the option um, available. On to building a action file. In this case, we're using billing. Catalog lookup. I'm going to scroll down to billing. Got a blank query now. And I want to pull the information from the header, which is the detail is just billing. Want is transaction. Voice number. Your reference might be good. Posted. Query. 
gives me a lot of information. I'm deciding I want nothing that says did. So we'll go under your reference and we'll put either hit F5 or if you know the command, you can just do not equal did. That should omit that information. We'll equals yes only and again run all the information in the screen. There's no subtotals or formatting here. This is where next class we'll discuss formatting the query to get total. Those are our two query examples. Some common messages you might receive um, is a dictionary 23 and that results in no records. Data that you're currently pulling into the query not there based on your current selection. So you want to go ahead and make sure you look at the query dates. Maybe there's a date that's wrong, edited. Um, maybe something needs to be first when you're pulling from a particular file. Check and validate your operating conditions and make sure the condition This concludes the query design portion. Our next Text Tuesday is July 17th. We're going to go publish our design, again, a follow-up to this course. We do love to hear uh, any requests you might have for a future Tech Tuesday call. Always interested in what people want to know and using DACEasy. Have any suggestions, please email us product enhancement dot sage dot easy at sage dot com. Maybe in the in the subject put tech tech Tuesday idea. Um, several ways in contacting support. The customer portal. We have a support live chat now. Once you log in, you can click submit support support tickets, or uh, on your own create a case on your own. We'll get back to you within 24 business. The, the portal case. There's also live chat, um, but you can also call us. And we like to make people aware of the customer community. There's a lot of uh, activity going on out there. Ways between the customers, among the customers, and how to everybody out there. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you July 7th.